As I just mentioned, Yoshihide Suga settling in as Japan's prime minister's investors can take solace in one fact. No modern Japanese leader taking over from a long-serving premier has seen stocks fall on their watch. And our next guest says that Suga may also surprise as much as Abe. CLSA's Nick Smith joins us from Tokyo. Nick, always great having you with us. But of course, the question is, will it surprise to the upside or downside, given that Abe uh, has seen really stocks surge during his eight-year tenure? tenure. Yeah, I mean, um, Abe was uh, pretty impressive. The foreigners have been selling out of this market since uh, June of uh, 2015. But actually, since Abe arrived on the block, uh, we've had a, what, 68% outperformance of uh, uh, of uh, MSCI um, World X US. It's done very well. I think we'll be surprised with uh, with Suga. Um, he's he's quite an impressive guy. So he's not terribly well known to uh, uh, to foreigners. But you know, when Abe became prime minister, I said. I think that actually this will be the man to remember, not uh, Koizumi. And I think uh, Suga's similarly uh, impressive. I mean, he doesn't come with the historical baggage of the, having been bought, born with a here, dynastic silver spoon in his mouth. So he's got no historical baggage. He's got no factional loyalties. He's got very strong control of the bureaucrats after basically having controlled their, their pay and promotions for her for seven years, eight months. He's got a similar policy palette to her to Abe because he was the wellspring of many of the ideas, as well as, most importantly, the fix that made them happen. Um, he's because he's from uh, the, the the far north in uh, Akita, so very much um, interested in regional re revitalization, so uh, uh, tourism, and I think to her to power that, um, speeding up casinos, so that's uh, certainly positive for uh, the Yokohama casino. He said that he's um, that Japan's got too many uh, regional banks, the BOJ and the Financial Services Agency agree so i'd be saying do not touch the uh, the regional banks and that includes uh, activists these companies they'll be needing their crown jewel assets as life rafts not as uh, as way of paying mm. uh, buybacks and special dividends but it's not only about regional <laughs> banks right i mean he wants a lot of reform especially he's been calling for telcos to change as well so will this pressure those sectors what are we expecting Sure. Although, of course, that's a uh, a story we've had before over the years, and you get a sell off, and then they uh, they start to come back. You've got to think about the um, the companies having the funds for uh, 5G introduction, for example. I think probably that the sell off in um, in telcos is overdone. Uh, that said, I, I just uh, dumped one of the uh, the telcos out of my model portfolio, saying uh, probably um, the sell's overdone, but uh, there won't be a whole lot lot of uh, good news coming in for a while, in which case you might make uh, better money elsewhere. <clears throat> so, uh, Nicholas, talk to me about your investing strategies under Suganomics or under some of the sectors that you expect him to focus on with that more domestic versus international focus as his priority. What would you be looking at? Well, I think... Um, what Japan has done particularly well, and it's certainly not got the credit for it, is it's handled the uh, the coronavirus extremely well. So, I mean, obviously, the, the acid test is the number of fatalities. Per capita fatalities, the U.S. is 51 times higher than uh, than Japan. And Japan's been very, very careful about it. Um, the, the government doesn't have power to actually tell people, but people have been uh, obedient of, of what the government suggested in a way that many other countries hadn't. But I think we'll, we'll have the economy coming back reasonably fast from here, uh, and therefore, what's been hurt is not so, not so much the goods as the services, things like gyms, restaurants, but also things like uh, railways. So, um, obviously, uh, um, JR East, the East Japan Railway, has been hit recently. I think that that um, that's going to have uh, quite a recovery under that. And then, obviously, um, Suga has been talking about a um, digital transformation. Uh, Japan's um, GDP per hour worked is is one of the worst in in the OECD. Uh, it, it, it's funny, isn't it, that uh, the Japanese make technology but they can't use it, like Italians making great cars but can't drive them. And uh, and so I think um, he's creating a, a digital agency. I think that's going to. Um, increase the the demand for for engineers and obviously we've got labor on under supply so uh, some of those companies like uh, technopro related to um, uh, to supplying engineers will be uh, very interesting under this uh, under this government but generally i think uh, what we should see from here is a a pickup in everything related to services 
So Shinzo Abe was really a helmsman on the global stage, right? He prioritised, in fact, building these global alliances, the relationship with the US, and was very successful at that. If Suga is more of a domestically focused PM, what does that mean for the appeal of brand Japan for foreign investors? Sure. I mean, I think um, people have made a lot of the fact that um, that Suga doesn't uh, doesn't speak a whole lot of English. Well, most Japanese pr um, prime ministers haven't spoken uh, a whole lot of English. But it, what he's pointing out is to say, for the seven years and eight months that he was chief cabinet secretary, obviously he was in all of those international meetings with uh, with Abe. It's not as if he doesn't have a good grasp of it. I mean, on the domestic side, he's known as the maestro, um, as the, the fixer and the, uh, the wellspring of ideas. But um, on the international side, he's brought in as, as Foreign Minister uh, Mortegi, who's just been working on the uh, the trade deal with the, uh, the UK. I think that he'll handle that um, perfectly well. Um, obviously, there are a lot of issues that are, are quite complicated to deal with at the moment. He's probably more um, open-minded towards uh, China than, uh, than Abe was, uh, which is why he's having to emphasize that, uh, that he will be, uh, will be strict with them. But um, I think that they'll handle the, the, uh, the foreign side very well.